All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Cade. My name is Andy, as always, and today we're going to be playing a new game. And today's game is called Life is Strange. Now, I remember seeing uh, several people do a playthrough of this, uh, most notably Commander Holly and her playthrough of it. And that was the first playthrough I saw, so I immediately fell in love with this game. And uh, I'm going to play it for you guys here on Andy Cade. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me. My uh, my throat's a little sore today. Um, I don't know if I'm coming down with anything or what, but you know, <laughs> the show must go on, right? So uh, I got some mints and some water. So I'll be uh, imbibing on that throughout the playthrough here. So uh, just don't mind that. Just, uh, today is gonna be a, a nice chill playthrough just because, you know, this game isn't very action intense. It's just, it's nice, chill. Pretty dialogue-based, I guess. So, uh, anyway, I, I'm blather, blathering on. So, let's continue the game, huh? Or start the game, rather. Okay. So, new game. Well, first, I gotta... Yeah. Okay. New game. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, it's a story-based game. It's based... Uh, features player choice. Um... There's a lot of uh, consequences. Anything that you do will impact uh, the rest of the game and stuff like that. And, um, oh, what's going on here? Okay, digging it, digging it. No lightning. Oh, ah, rain. I don't like being out in the rain. It's wet, nasty. Okay. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Put a little clothes and some makeup. Where am I? What's happening? I don't know. What's going on here? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And <laughs> where is here? How did I get here? Okay. Cool lighthouse, dude. <clears throat> oh, okay, I'm in control now. Yeah, so, um, I guess you just go up to the lighthouse up here. Anyway, uh, this is kind of cool, man, because uh, in my hometown of Salina, Ohio, we have a, a really nice lighthouse overlooking the lake. And I always thought it was nice. I got a couple pictures of it, too, while I was back home for a couple months. So, that's cool. Oh, well, looks like we're right fucked, huh? Yeah, all right. Anyway, lighthouse time. Uh, how are we gonna get there? Okay, watch out for the falling derbis. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Whoa. That was so surreal. Hot damn, man. Little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. Mm. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Uh, now, okay. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly Is this a, a photography class? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Why can't I be in a photography class? There you go, Victoria. Uh-huh. Are we... Because of her images of hopeless faces. Huh. You feel like totally haunted okay. of those sad mothers and children. That's cool, She's man. She was tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Huh. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Huh? Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just looking around the room. You could do that to me. Looking at all the little bubbles and stuff. Too obvious. With R. What if Arvis chose to capture people That's why I look at it. of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken uh, another approach. Okay. So you just like look at stuff and uh okay, what we got here? Look at this crap. 
How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. It's not that bad. Just put a couple Instagram filters on it. It'll be, it'll be okay. Robert Frank. I mean... Me too, Victoria. <laughs> I could I could probably make that look really nice. Actually, here, let me go back. Okay, so <clears throat> future Andy, editing this video right now. Uh, go ahead and put a picture overlaying on this uh, my Instagrammed version of this of this photo. So uh, just for the future, Andy, do this. Do it now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to the game. The pencil case. Hey. Which explains why Frank was I do terrible. love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Analog. We've all seen It's a film camera. It's Kerouac on the balcony. It's it's not What? Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. Now, anyway. I want to look at the pencil case. Let me look at the pencil case. Pencil case, pencil case. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. It's no, it's rude. What? A selfie quota? And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Sorry. I'm a, I'm a sucker for dad humor, what can I say? Anyway. They could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Let's look at some stuff. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. All right. Well, let's see what we all got here. Can I look at other things, or is it just stuff in front of me? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm bad with cameras. All right. Uh, speaking of cameras... Wait, did he stop? Oh, okay. <laughs> just making sure. All right. Let's look at the camera. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. You serious? In the middle of class? Oh shit. I think he's on to me. Just jump right in with an answer. Oh shit. Uh, never mind. Anyway, so. Um, Alright. Let's get our selfie quota going. Okay. Alright. Let me just. Uh, I, don't know. I don't have an analog camera, so. Uh, here's it, here's how we're gonna do this here. Okay. Um, no good at this. <laughs> Alright. Y'all ready for this? Alright. Peek. Yeah, shit. Should have had it on delay. Oh, well. okay, cool. I took a selfie. You did read the chapters, right? Oh. Silly me. <laughs> I believe and she had the flash on too? The fuck is wrong with you, girl? Wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. She's course, a gift. As you all know, the photo portrait is she one of them special the children? Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't. Just you just use that joke. You can't do that again. Has always been a vital aspect of art and photography as long as it's been around. Oh, that one dude. He's just sitting there like, now, Max, what the fuck is my life? Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait. It's daguerreotype. Oh. Ugh. I do know, so I'm gonna be like, you're asking me? Really? You're asking me? L let me think. Mm. Christ. You know this or not, man. Jesus, dude. Is there anybody here who knows this stuff? <laughs> I know it's photography, but y'all take it that a little like shit a little. Oh, hey, see, there you go. The type. Anyway. Style, like now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process. See, I knew that, but it didn't have the answer there. Making them extremely popular from the What am I doing? Okay. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Yeah, right. You can find out all about him. And you're if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Huh. Let's let's do a little reading here. This is a this is a chill playthrough. This isn't gonna be me all like oh ba da ba da ba da. I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of that, but uh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be chill. You know, make sure the neighbors don't pound the the ceiling. <laughs> so. I love my neighbors. Anyway. Uh, uh, 
Oh dear. Jesus. She's a fan of dad humor too, huh? Alright. Jesus. It's like high school over again. Oh, this is from... Okay. 2013, huh? That's about six years ago at the time of this recording. 2016. Woo. <laughs> Alright, enough of this. Let's... Oh. Even oh, hey, we're done. Yeah. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. Exposure, because so photography class. Taylor. <laughs> All right. Yes, Max. Yeah. I see you pretending not to see me. Fucking Miss Thang walking around. Jesus. Now, is it just me or is Max a little worse for wear sleep-wise? Like Jesus. I don't know if she looks high or like lacking in sleep. Anyway. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Let's look. Even her school books are gift wrapped. Hmm. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laugh. Is it, isn't she 15? They, I mean, they do look younger. Anyway. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest. Eh. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. The green wilt. Of course! The, my dream rig! The green wilt! Uh, Alright. Fucking. Rah. Anywho, yo, Mr. J, what's going Excuse on? Me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? What's crack a -lickin'? Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in. Stars? Jesus. <clears throat> oh, right, that's me. Um, do I have to or I don't have any time? You always got time for a picture. I just took one in this video. I'm sorry. I just love this awkward pause. It's like, I would never let one of photography's most gifted students uh, down. Awkward humor. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't Old dude, what are you like, twenty like five? The world is yours, blah blah blah. Right? Well, but you do have a gift. Maybe twenty nine and a half. Images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Yeah. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's let's move on, huh? I mean, we could look at other stuff, but I think you guys are probably getting tired of that, huh? So, let's move on. How do I open? How do I door? I don't know what I'm doing. Mr. J, help me out. How do I door? You didn't Press A. I was about to. You are Welcome to the real world. Jesus. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Damn, son. So yeah, this is by Square Enix. She's People who did the Final Fantasy. There we go. And that's just like high school. Got the earbuds in. Chilling out. All I need is my Game Boy Advance to play some video games during study hall. And the picture will be complete. So yeah, welcome to Life is Strange, everybody. Episode one of five. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was on autopilot. All right. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. 
Huh. Surprised there's no boys bathroom. Okay, so you got the girls bathroom. Oh, there it is. Okay, gotcha. I wonder what will happen if I go over here. Nothing? Well, okay. I thought we were gonna have like a neat little like, I can't go in there. I'm a girl. I can't, I can't go in the boys bathroom. What am I doing? Ugh, this is depressing. This isn't strange, it's depressing. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Meltdown? You just need to calm the fuck down. You don't need to cry, just go to a nice quiet place, put on some music, put on some tunes, just chill, man. Just relax. Relax, Max. <laughs> it's a rhyme. Okay, anyway. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice in this playthrough. Uh, doing my best. Doing my best. Okay. It's me, Chara. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> okay, go into the stall. This one? Ugh. Is this a girl's bathroom? Look how dirty that fucking toilet is. Okay. Can I sit down? I did come in here for a reason. Yeah, huh? Said go to the stall, right? It's a fucking game. All right. Hey, what's that? Can I use the mirror? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all seems yeah. like a bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Ugh, jeez. I remember the uh, good old teen days where I thought the whole world was against me and. You know, life, life isn't fair, man. All that stuff. Eh, yeah, you get over it. Just relax, stop torturing yourself. Why do you hold that picture after you just wiped your hand? You didn't even dry your hands yet. You're gonna get shh. Oh, okay, well, never mind then. Clearly didn't give a shit before he tore it. Oh, is that a blue morpho? Closes, a window opens. What the fuck is a blue morpho doing in what I'm assuming is the U.S.? Hey, okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. No kidding. For those who don't know, that is a blue morpho butterfly indigenous to Central America. Not that I know these things, but, you know, I know these things. <laughs> I actually got to see one in person when... Uh, when I was on the USS Kurtz and we pulled into uh, uh, Columbia, we did a tour of a waterfall. Um, the video's up on YouTube. Uh, I'll probably put a link down below in the boobity boops so you guys can check it out. Um, if I don't, be sure to yell at me so I don't forget because I sometimes do that. But anyway, so the Blue Morpho is a butterfly indigenous to Central slash South America. And I remember seeing a lot of them uh, when we were doing a waterfall tour down there. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, let's take a picture, huh? Not so much for your analog camera. Shit's slow as fuck, dude. If I had my Sony, I'd have been all over that shit. What the fuck is this dude doing in here? It's cool, Nate. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just. Come to three. You're in the girls' bathroom. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I want it, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Go, go have your mental breakdown in the I'm boys' bathroom. Want. Oh. I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Oh shit. Now, let's talk business. I've got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. Oh That's shit. Family, not me. Oh boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. <sighs> I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Damn, son. Get them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. Oh, oh shit, son. <clears throat> what are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. Come on, kick it out of his hand. With what are you doing? Missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. No. Mm. 
much say Whoa. What the fuck? Okay. How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. That poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back That here. poor girl. That bitch was trying to extort money from that guy. I already heard Way to, you know, exploit his mental duress, lady. Now Kate is being hassled again. Again. Hmm. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, I cannot believe this. The human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Okay. Alrighty, so, uh... feel like haunted by... Oh, is it? I should rewind. Should rewind? You don't know how to rewind yet. You're getting ahead of yourself. But anyway, so, thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Life is Strange. And, um, that said, this is Andy Song. Sign up for now. Like I said, <laughs> thanking you guys for tuning in this uh, first installment of Life is Strange. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!